Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Anurag Dutt, and uh, I'm currently a PhD student in Stony Brook. Uh, I'll be presenting our work, Gamma, uh, Graph Neural Network Based uh, Multi Bottleneck Localization for Microservices Applications. Uh, this is a joint work between uh, Stony Brook University and uh, Roblox. Uh, detecting and mitigating performance bottlenecks is paramount uh, with microservice architectures, the problem of finding bottlenecks is exacerbated by following. Uh, bottlenecks can show up in different ways uh, due to complex interactions among microservices. Uh, the call graphs in microservices are dynamic due to uh, variance in service times, frequent application updates, uh, components like cache, queues, asynchronous calls, etc. cetera. Uh, the microservices also have unique characteristics. For example, if uh, there is a CPU interference, on a node with multiple microservices, uh, the performance of CPU bound microservice would suffer more than uh, memory bound microservices. Uh, also, there is a scarcity of labeled data in production systems. Uh, there aren't many representative data sets for active research. Uh, we'll see the different ways uh, bottlenecks show up in microservices. Uh, here we have an e-commerce application implemented using MSA. Uh, let's say these are the nodes or VMs on which these microservices run. Uh, for example, node three marked black has a storefront service and uh, inventory service running on it. Uh, single bottlenecks, as the name suggests, are single sources of performance degradation. For example, uh, shipping DB has uh, an application misconfiguration because of which it's bottlenecked. Multiple bottlenecks, again, as the name suggests, are uh, multiple sources of uh, deg performance degradation. They can be independent. Uh, for example, uh, as you can see, storefront and inventory, which are both on uh, which are on node three, might face resource contention, leading to both of them being bottlenecked. They can be dependent. Uh, they can be uh, cascading as well, where uh, bottlenecks propagate to neighboring nodes over time. Uh, account DB, for example, here faces uh, workload interference, and its performance goes down. This creates a queue buildup over uh, over time, and uh, creates a bottleneck. Uh, as you can see in the slide. Uh, uh, this brings us to our problem statement, uh, detecting anomalous traces and multiple bottlenecks in large scale microservice applications. To achieve this, based on the challenges we have seen so far, we need to accomplish the following. Uh, learn complex structural interaction interactions among microservices. Uh, that is how neighboring nodes affect each other. Uh, learn temporal patterns that lead to bottlenecks and uh, account for unique characteristics of each microservice. Uh, our solution is Gamma a multi-model end-to-end joint framework for detecting anomalous traces and uh, multiple bottlenecks. Uh, we'll go over the broad Gamma architecture and briefly discuss it in more detail in the next slide. The input features to Gamma are a time series of latency, CPU, memory, and network metrics for all the microservices in the call graph. Uh, input features are passed to the dilated causal convolution stage. Uh, this is followed by the graph representation learning stage which is followed by the anomaly detection and bottleneck localization stage. Uh, we'll go over the Gamma model in a bit more detail. The dilated causal convolution or DCC process allows Gamma to manage inputs with varying receptive fields, significantly uh, enhancing its ability to capture long range dependencies in metrics. Uh, the graph representation learning stage begins by integrating multi-source temporal embeddings from previous stage and combining the node interactions to understand call graph interactions. The mixture of experts or MOE components leverages specialized linear layers to individually assess potential bottlenecks, enhancing the accuracy and granularity of bottleneck localization. A uh, key contribution of this work is constructing a data set for research on anomaly detection and multi-bottleneck localization. Uh, there is a need for uh, a data set for multi multiple bottleneck traces. Uh, open source data sets from prior works consists only of single bottlenecks the existing data sets do not truly capture the complexity of the problem. For example, in our experiments on firm data set, a prior work that we use as baseline, we find that a simple grid search can find a threshold to classify the bottlenecks with an F1 score, F1 score of one. Uh, to create a more realistic data set that includes traces with uh, multiple bottlenecks at uh, different intensities, we carefully mark the uh, benchmark the social networking application from Death Star Bench under three different uh, interference uh, for three different call graphs under different interference int intensities and durations. Uh, the three call graphs are compose, home, and user. 
uh, we chose intensities and duration values that degrade the application performance, but do not cause any faults or errors that can be trivially detected. Uh, we induced interference on different VMs and different times and also simultaneously. As such, uh, Gamma's dataset consists of 40 million traces with up to 12 simultaneous bottlenecks. A single VM uh, could be induced with different types of interference, for example, CPU and memory, resulting in hosted microservices experiencing a mixture of interfer interference patterns. Uh, we use Kubernetes uh, to uh, deploy the microservices and Prometheus, which is a Jaeger-based Jaeger uh, observability tool to collect the input, input metrics. Uh, we use the following ba following baselines for comparison. Uh, epsilon diagnosis, which performs uh, both anomaly detection and bottleneck localization. Uh, it uses a simple threshold-based uh, scheme for anomaly detection and a distance correlation metric for bottleneck localization. Uh, CR is another uh, baseline that we use, which is an online bottleneck localization tool uh, that uses CNN, LSTM, and a combined CNN and LSTM model to learn uh, complex patterns that lead to anomalies. Uh, CR star is our modified version of CR, for multi-bottleneck localization with a few necessary necessary changes, such as uh, replacing cross entropy loss with hinge loss, uh, which works by adopt, adapting softmax to individual binary classification for each microservice in a uh, call graph. Uh, Firm is a framework that uses SVM and handcrafted features to localize bottlenecks along the critical along a critical path in the call graph of the microservices. Uh, for our metrics. Uh, we use F1 score, uh, precision, and recall with a training validation test split of 70, 10, and 20%, uh, running this over 200 epochs. Uh, we, we compare the performance of gamma and epsilon diagnosis to detect the anomalies. This is evaluated on the entire data set and consists of all interference types. Uh, the graph that we see here is for compose request type. Uh, on x-axis, we have metrics uh, the metrics, and on y-axis, we have the, the range with higher values being better. While we do note that uh, the baseline epsilon diagnosis achieves a reasonably high precision, this is due to a low confidence threshold the bottleneck localizer uses. This leads to a lot of false positives, degrading recall and F1 for epsilon diagnosis. Thus, uh, we see gamma provides close to a 4x improvement in F1 score uh, compared to epsilon diagnosis. We see uh, similar trends for uh, home and user request types. Uh, next, we compare the performance of gamma and other baselines in localizing multiple bottlenecks. Uh, again, this is evaluated on the entire data set. That is, it consists of all, all interference types. Uh, the graph that we see here is for uh, compose request type. On x-axis, we have the metrics. On y-axis, the range. Higher values are better on y-axis. As we see, gamma provides up to 46% improvement in F1 score. We see similar trends again for uh, the home and user call graphs as well. Lastly, uh, we evaluate gamma and the baselines by separately training and testing over traces that contain bottlenecks from specific source, such as uh, CPU interference, memory, memory blockades, network interference, and combined CPU and memory interference. On y-axis, we have the F1 score, with higher being better. And on x-axis, again, we have the type of interference induced. As we can all see, Gamma can st still outperform all the models, but the gap between baselines and Gamma has reduced. Uh, this is essentially because the problem we are trying to tackle here is a simpler problem for the baselines than what we saw in the previous slide. For example, CR star does not necessarily do well for CPU bottleneck class, and firm doesn't do well for network bottleneck class. This suggests that specific baselines may perform better if they are separately trained for each source of bottleneck. However, uh, this is tedious in practice. By contrast, Gamma shows consistently good performance, whether it is trained uh, on each interference, interference type separately or more efficiently trained once on all interference types. Uh, in conclusion, our work shows that Gamma effectively detects anomalous traces with 78% uh, higher F1 score than the next nearest uh, SOTA. Uh, Gamma effectively detects multiple bottlenecks uh, with 46% higher score with next uh, as compared to next efficient SOTA. And uh, the data set and the code is public for uh, further research in this direction. Uh, thank you. Happy to answer any questions and address any comments you might have for us.